Hey everybody, we're doing a um, quick video here to kind of go over some of the new capabilities we're releasing with our Power Apps connector. So essentially, we've we've always read in the rules from the InfoPath form into our Uniform model, and up until now, we were not reflecting those in in Power Apps for a lot of reasons. There's no, you know, declarative rules engine in the in the destination. Uh, up until fairly recently, named formulas were not. Uh, we're still in preview they weren't generally available so we, we tr traditionally try to take away or try not to release new capabilities that are dependent on um, preview capabilities um, but now that we have named formulas and some other work we did with behaviors and in in power apps we're now um, you know releasing fairly complete translation of, of info path rules calculations um, just some examples. I mean, some of these are silly; they don't really make sense, but it, it, you know, just again demonstrates the capability. So for this one, uh, if I set set city to Dexter, which is where I live, um, it'll set the drop down to Michigan, the state drop down to Michigan. Um, if I put in more than a hundred thousand in desired salary, it's gonna uh, throw up a a mess validation message and set the value back to the max, which is a hundred thousand. This one uh, demonstrates kind of a, your standard formatting rule. So this will uh, set the background color to orange, set the foreground color to white if it's more than 10,000. And then we've got a calculated field here that's going to take the salary plus the bonus. And then just to make it more interesting, just so that we can do like a comp, you know, we do you know compound uh, formulas. It'll add, it'll take those two and and basically add 10% to it. Um, uh, buttons with actions, this is showing a switch view, so basically a navigate uh, function in uh, Power Apps. And then if I go over to the second view, um, this one, actually it's on this, if I'm a US citizen, I don't need to check that I'm authorized to work. I'm authorized to work if I'm a US citizen. So it disables that checkbox if are you, you at, are you a citizen of the United States is checked. And then obviously this one, if I uncheck this, it hides the uh, repeating section. And then this button is also has a switch view on it as well. So pretty good coverage uh, rule type wise, um, you know, behavior wise. And we're just going to go ahead and run this through kudzu and see what it looks like on the other end. Um, going to go ahead and grab that form. It's right here. It takes a few seconds to, to read that in. The other thing we're going to show in this is we author the Power Apps Copilot control if it's um, if you select Dataverse here. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to use both views. I'm going to come over to Power Apps. We're going to use Dataverse. I'm going to set up the home view. If you have the home view and you use Dataverse, it will actually author and configure the uh, the Copilot control. So you can basically, you know, ask questions based on the data in that in that Dataverse table. So I'll create the package. It's downloading it to my machine here. I'm just going to override that. Open up the maker. It takes a few seconds here to load. And we'll go ahead and open that file we just downloaded. This also takes a few seconds to load. And what you'll see is you'll see three screens. You'll see the home view screen. You'll see the main um, applicant information screen and you'll see the additional. I'm not sure why it says we need to configure it because it actually is configured and it, and it does work. So um, we'll, we'll kind of ignore that for now. If I go ahead and run this, obviously I don't have any data in here yet. I'll go ahead and add a, a couple. We'll show you this one. If I put in Dexter, changes it to Michigan. Uh, if I change this to, it's going to be more there's the notification there on the top. The salary provider is above the salary range. Sets it back to 100,000. You can see the 10% was added here to the total compensation. Desired bonus, if I keep it at 10,000, it's good. If I make it 15,000, 
it changes it. Uh, I can go down here and, and add some more stuff. I'll leave that there for now. Um, I probably should set some of these other fields to make it interesting. Go ahead and uh, I'm going to say I'm available on the 25th and I applied for the CTO position. I'm going to create another one here just so we can show. Uh, let's see. Eric. He's available on the 18th. He wants to be the CPO. That looks good. So I can ask it questions. Um, how many applicants are there? Three applicants. So that is not correct. So we're going to go ahead and dislike that one. Uh, inaccurate. One person, so I got that one right. So we'll thumbs up that one. So you can see it's it's working. It gets better. It gets better as you ask more questions. It gets better as you add more data. Um, and you can just see, like I said, the rules, you know, do work. And how we implemented those. If I come up here to the app, can go into the formulas, and you can see these are different expressions we're creating, right? So here's the calculation on that one field. Um, here's the formula for whether or not the background color gets changed on the on the, the desired bonus. Mm -hmm. Here's the foreground color gets changed. Uh, whether or not I should disable the um, the uh, U.S. citizen or uh, the U.S. citizen checkbox, and then this one show hide the references. So it's just it's just basically going through here, and if I go to these different fields. You know, like for city, for example, they say, okay, this is a behavior. I want to act on this when the value's changed. And you can see what it's doing. It's basically evaluating that condition. It's setting a context um, and then resetting that field to, to change the value. Same here on these. You can see it's doing multiple things. It's doing the notification. Um, it's changing the value and then it's resetting it. So, so similar. And then you can see the text here is that expression that was created in the, in the named formula. And then if you go down here to the button, you can see that that's a, on select is just, it's navigating to that, that other view. So we've, we've taken InfoPath form with a, a pretty good representation of the different types of of um, rules and calculations you can do in InfoPath, translated them into Uniform, and then added a translation layer inside of our Power Apps Writer to take those and translate them into named formulas and you know PowerFX script inside of, of actions or you know on a on a basic on, on the most basic sense behaviors as they're they're referenced in the in the uh, Power Apps model. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is, uh, again, coming out in a new release uh, that's actually going into our production environment this weekend. Uh, will be available to our existing customers. Uh, it also will be in our sandbox environment for any customers that want to try it out or partners that want to try it out. Uh, check out the rest of our uh, videos and, and our website. Please reach out if you have any questions. Uh, there's a, there's links on our InfoPath replacement page uh, to um, schedule a, a call with, with someone on the team to talk through your InfoPath replacement efforts. Thank you.